I want to talk to you today about the concept of bonsai success. What is bonsai success? Let's talk about it. So I want to share an experience I had of working for a major European bank about 10 years ago now. Banking was changing quite dramatically. There were a lot of challenger banks coming out, one in particular in the UK here called Monzo. And this major European bank was worried because this startup was growing tall and it was growing quickly. It was a pine tree. It was really doing fantastic stuff in the market and creating a lot of noise. And so, of course, like any good CEO, you come up with an approach to mitigate this. What do you do? How do you compete on the level of that? So they started their own challenger bank. Great idea. Okay. And the ambition was set. There was an expectation from that CEO about what this would be. And it was that it would be like many of the other challenger banks that were in the industry. And I was witness to a lot of the stuff that was happening in terms of this project. And you could, you could see the disappointment on the CEO at each step through the questions they asked, the way they weren't engaged, right through from early concepts, right through to final delivery. It wasn't a high growing, fast growing pine tree. It wasn't magnificent. It was a bonsai success. Yeah, sure, they were doing what they were set out to do, but it was a bonsai version of what it really needed to be. And you could see the CEO settling for it. You could see the organization settling for this. They were having, they were going through the process of bonsai success, really dissatisfying. And of course, they launched it into the market. Equally, the market shrugged. It was nothing compared to the majestic pine trees of the challenges. And the more I got to know this organization, the more I could see this everywhere, the where bonsai success was in everything that they did. New financial products, meh, they were all right, but they were nothing special. They were bonsai successes. New initiatives, meh, the ambition was fantastic. And you could really see that what the CEO wanted it to be, but they couldn't follow through. It became a bonsai success and they settled for it. The CEO settled for it. Everybody settled for it. And the danger of this, certainly from a personal point of view, is if you're a CEO who has bonsai successes at work, more likely than not, you're having bonsai successes in other places as well. Maybe your marriage is not what it needs to be. Maybe your home's not the way it is. Is where you turn up in one place is how you turn up in every place. If you're settling for bonsai success, then you're not fulfilling that ambition that you've got, that ability that you know is inherent within you with an organization to have much more majestic pine tree successes, which are possible, yet you're settling for bonsai successes. So how do you address this? What do you do about this? Well, the first thing you do, and it's a concept I bring into all of the coaching that I do is you've got to name it to tame it, right? So you start to introduce this concept of the bonsai success to your life, your world and your circles, right? The business circles around it. You call things this, right? That mortgage initiative we did last month, that was a bonsai success. You start to identify these across the organization. And the more you create this shared language, the more this becomes part of the culture. Now, of course, it's not as simple as that. You can't just start to use this to talk about things that are there. You really need to fundamentally shift and move the culture forward. And that's probably not within the scope of this video, but certainly something I can help you and support you with in the future. Now, if you want to learn more about transformational cultures, how to bring an organization forward through culture. I did an interview recently with a guy called David Beiser, who's an expert on cultures. That's linked down there. There's some really strong insights there about adding things like no bonsai successes to your company culture and following that through. Now, if this is a concept you'd like to explore in more depth with me, if you worry that this is something that's happening to you, both personally and professionally, give me a call. Let's talk about this. I would love to chat through this with you. And even if you're worried about this happening and you want some reassurance that maybe it's not, let's talk. I would love to chat this through with you. Thank you very much for your time. If you've got any comments about this, please leave these comments down below. Have you come across a bonsai success? Have you seen these in your career? Are you working on one of those now? Can you see this happening? I would love you to share your feedback on this concept of the bonsai success. Thanks very much for your time and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye now.